Hi, I'm Andy, I'm an editor, I've got 20 years experience and I've got a quick tip for you when you're using Premiere and you're maybe using a laptop or a computer that isn't as powerful as you would like, but there's a way to not get stuttery video and that's by using proxies. And in this very short video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. So here we are in Premiere, I'm using a reasonably powerful computer and I'm using a solid state hard drive which is absolutely blisteringly fast. And uh, on the timeline, I've got the clip that is an 8K clip and it's jittery when I play it back. What can we do to make it better? Well, we can drop the resolution of the actual playback that is not proxy, that is just the processing resolution that it plays back. Let's give that a go. So as you can see there, the computer is really struggling with that 8K file. So what I'm now going to do is select the files in Premiere and go to Proxy. Create Proxies and a, a menu will appear. Now what Proxies are, are they low resolution versions of the high resolution media that Premiere is struggling to play back. So what we do here is we select a format. You can either do H.264 or QuickTime. I prefer QuickTime. And in terms of resolution, I'm going to go low resolution with this. And then the other option is in this destination section. You can do either next to the original media in a proxy folder, or you can set your own proxy folder somewhere else on your hard drive. Then I'm going to click OK. And then what it's going to do is it's going to analyze that media in Media Encoder, over a bit of time, it's going to convert that into the file format that we specified. And you can see it's doing it now. It's automatically adding them to a queue. It's just, all it's doing is it's running through these files and converting them. And when they're done, you get a little green tick. So this is the 8K file. So this might take a little bit longer. And it gives you a summary of all the information that you've selected. And that's going to be the quality settings of your proxy file. Right, and that's done now. So now we're back in Premiere. If we press the space bar, it's still playing back super glitchy. And that's because we haven't turned on the proxy feature yet. And to do that, we need to go into the button editor on this little plus icon and select the toggle proxies and drag that onto your toolbar down there. Click OK. Now, if we go to the top of this and click toggle proxies, you'll see that we've got a low resolution version. And if we now turn the, the select playback resolution to full, we get a totally clear and clean playback of that video file. So what we can do now is we can edit this to our heart's content, knowing that we're getting super smooth playback. We can add cuts to it. We can do all the things that we want to do. We can even add a few more shots on. So we'll select one of these. And because we've got proxies toggled, it loads the proxy version into the source monitor as well. So if we now drag that on and then drop that across, as you can see, it's playing that back perfectly. What it does do is it gives you those little black lines on the left and right. Don't worry about those because as soon as you're finished, you're cut and you're happy. What you then very simply do is you click the toggle proxies button off. You lose those black bars on the sides and you, you then export your media. So there we go. If you've got a slightly lower powered computer and you've got 4K or 8K video and you want to cut it, use proxies. Mm -hmm.